Dunfermline Athletic are a club with a well-defined idea of where they're going. With a population base of 100,000, this cannily run club is one of the few in Scotland's province that perhaps has real potential to advance. Dunfermline's thinking along these lines goes back a long way. Mr Jack, who was the director, had a great amount of foresight. And he died in his mid-fifties, and he said, well, let's build a good ground. Let's use the money for transfers, let's use the money for the Scottish Cup, and go, to, go on for patrons' loans. We did this. And the reason he, he, put, he put, uh, to, the, to the board was that he felt that there would be a Super League in time and that he wanted Dunferman to be the best ground in Fife so that Dunferman would be in the Super League. When their great sides of the 60s broke up, Dunfermline hit the slide. In retrospect, they see that the biggest mistake was a decision to go part-time. Now, with promotion to the First Division, there's a real sense of hope, always tempered with realism, that the glory days can be restored. In these glory days, Dunfermline Athletic fulfilled the ultimate function of the local football club. They gave their whole community a fantastic sense of pride and achievement. This is the welcome that Dunfermline are getting. The town streets are lined all the way. It's ten past eleven at night, but nobody seems to notice. And this is the ending place so far as the bus is concerned. They're going to come onto the balcony above us. And as you can see, the town of Dunfermline is going slightly crazy. In the doorway is the manager of the team, Mr. Jock's team, smiling quietly as the official party are welcomed back to Dunfermline. With, of course, the Scottish Cup. Morrissey to Harris. Cunningham. What a chance for Melrose. Melrose scores for the goal. As they trudge from Stranraer to Brechin in recent seasons, Dunfermline could at least recall that they were a force in Europe before Celtic or Liverpool. It's only 20 years since Dunfermline were enjoying the kind of success which proves that dreams can come true. They brought the Scottish Cup back to Fife twice in the 60s and regularly rubbed shoulders with the best in Europe. The East End Park boardroom is filled with reminders of this heyday. But once decline had hit them, how difficult was it to find a way back? We have found it almost uh, an impossible task. At times you begin to wonder if there is uh, any hope of us uh, succeeding. Fortunately, this last season has proved that uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel and we are now more determined than ever to be a success. I wouldn't be here uh, if Dunfermline, if the board of directors at Dunfermline Football Club had no ambition, I certainly wouldn't be here. Uh, football management uh, uh, involves a lot of time and certainly the, my time would be wasted if the board of directors at Dunfermline Football Club had no ambition. Promotion to the first division was tied up against East Stirling. There's endearing earthiness and honest enthusiasm about Dunfermline Athletic. They also had Scotland's largest home gates last season outside the Premier Division. But with a turnover of just £150,000 for the year, they're clearly in a very different financial league from the clubs they hope once again to rival. At least, Jim Leishman has the encouragement of a target to aim for. Looking back over the last 15 years, I would look at them united and hope to achieve over the next 15 years, what do you need to have done? With due caution and sound financial appraisal that is their hallmark, Dunfermline will, if they fare well in the first division, contemplate the chasm which really does separate the men from the boys.
the thought of full-time football is always with us. I would say that the decision will have to be made when we are doing well in the first division with the definite potential of going to the Premier League. I was one of the last full-timers here in the lifestyle of a football player that works hard at the football. It's a great, it's a great life. And certainly that's my aim, is to bring full-time football back to Dunfermline.